A step toward victory for Kane Horman today in court in the child custody hearing of his five year old daughter. His son Kyron is still missing more than three years after he disappeared. Welcome to Coin 6 News at noon. I'm Jenny Hansen. Carla Castaño sat in on that hearing, which just wrapped up. She joins us live from the Multnomah County Courthouse with the latest developments. Carla. Jenny, Terry Horman did not show up here in divorce court today, and she likely would not have liked the judge's ruling had she. Now, Kyron's dad, Kane Horman, he was here in court today, and his lawyers argue that Terry is dangerous and should not get to see her daughter because of an alleged murder for hire plot cooked up between Terry and the estranged couple's former landscaper, a landscaper who the judge ruled today can now testify. Kane's attorneys say the landscaper's testimony gives a motive in Kyron's disappearance. We talked to the landscaper's lawyer right after the hearing. He's doing well. Uh, obviously, uh, this is something that he would prefer to really not be a part of, uh, but he's in the position that he's in, uh, and he's doing his best to comply with what the court needs him to do and with, uh, with what uh, testimony is, is needed. We also asked if the landscaper got a deal from police in agreement for testifying against Terry. That's what her lawyers were concerned about. Now he wouldn't tell us. Meanwhile, the judge ruled Terry's lawyers can't cross examine the landscaper. But the judge says at this point he's not even sure if he's going to consider the landscaper's testimony in this child custody case. Live in downtown Portland, Carla Castaño, Coin 6 News. Carla, thank you.